everyone, it's Kim again. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we're going to make the buffalo chicken dip today. I know I've been promising for a while that I was going to film this for you, and I apologize that it's taken so long. So let's jump right in and get this recipe started. As you can see in front of you, I have a couple of ingredients. We have the buffalo wing sauce, and you can either use the Sweet Baby Ray's or the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. You'll need eight ounces of fat-free cream cheese. You're going to use two cups of the chunk chicken breast. Um, it's just the, the canned chicken breast. And two tablespoons of the ranch dressing seasoning. Just the ranch powder that um, you just pick up. You can either pick it up in a package, or as you can see here, I pick mine up in a larger quantity because I use that for several different recipes that I have on rotation right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna open up the cans and start pulling some items together, and then I will come right back at you. Okay, I have our cans opened and our packages ready. I didn't want to do too much off camera because I wanted to show you how quick and easy this recipe was to pull together. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the chicken into my sink here. That's one can. And this is the second can. I know you can't see this, but getting that done really quick. So we've got our two cans of chicken drained, and um, this may come out to be a little more than two cups of chicken, but the chicken is zero smart points, so I'm not worried if the measurements aren't exactly perfect on that. So we also have the eight ounces of cream cheese, so I'm just gonna pop that into my bowl. And then I'm gonna measure out, I think I have a half cup of this left, that's why I grabbed the second one just in case, because I knew I was starting to run low. So a half cup of the Sweet Baby Rays. The cream cheese is gonna be six points. The Sweet Baby Rays is gonna come out to be four points for a half a cup. Go ahead and pour that out. I have a one cup measuring cup here, but I'm just gonna fill it up to my half. I, I have markers inside of it. So I've got a half cup of that measured out. I'm going to go ahead and cream together the cream cheese and the ranch dip. Um, two tablespoons of the ranch dip. I can't remember how many points this one is. I will insert that into the comments right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and have that ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start whipping this up. Hopefully it won't be too loud. And I almost thought about doing this in my food processor, but I was afraid that it would chunk everything way too thin. And I kind of want to have the chicken mixed in, but not totally blended into the mixture. Okay, that's a good start on that. We're going to go ahead and add in the buffalo sauce. And you want to do this one fairly slow because otherwise that buffalo sauce will be a little bit messy. Um, not that I've done that before. I mean, come on, who would, who would just automatically put that on a high and not slowly build up the speed on your mixer? This girl, this girl here, she may have done it once or twice. Look at this. Let me see if I can get it on camera. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the two tablespoons of ranch powder. And I'm going to grab a spatula. Thought I had one pulled out. I must have put it back. I did. My head all over off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this in here. 
You can hear my Alexa in the background giving me notifications because we just got a shipment delivered today. All right, I got that mixed in. As Alexa goes out the third time, okay, maybe I got three shipments in today. So we got both cans of the chicken added to our bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that together. And again, I don't like to do this part with the mixer because of the fact that I like to have the chunks of chicken in there. Um, if you want this well blended, feel free to go ahead and mix this up with your blender a little bit more. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my microwave just for about a minute or two. I'm gonna do it for a minute and then I'm gonna stir it. What I want that to do is I want the cream cheese to go ahead and melt a little bit more because there is it's still a little chunky in there and I want all the flavors to melt together. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the microwave and then I will come back and show you our final product. Okay, what I did is I put that in the microwave and I cooked it for one minute on high. I pulled it out, stirred it, and then cooked it for another minute. That seemed to give me the consistency that I wanted. Um, I will try to bring that up here and show you as my spoon is moving. Here we go. Now you'll see there are some little black speckles in there. Um, that is from the ranch dip. So you can see that there are some green speckles here and they just look to be like a greenish black in the dip. So just wanted to let you know because I had been asked that question before when I have made the dip, if I put extra pepper in it and I don't, I don't put any extra pepper in this at all. If I want extra spice or if I wanna kick up the notch of the heat level on this one, I will just go ahead and add some regular Frank's Red Hot and that seems to give it the level of heat that you want. I am not a huge spice person, but I have added the spice, you know, the extra red hot sauce to it for when I take it to parties. Um, this is a great dip to take to parties. You can take it with celery and crackers on the side. One third cup of this dip is only one smart point. Um, it really is so flavorful and it has so many different options that you can do with it. Again, I normally will take it to work as a dip just for a snack in the afternoon. I have also thrown it on a wrap and had like a buffalo chicken cheese wrap with that. I also have used the flat out wraps. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. So I've also thrown it on a flat out wrap, which are two smart points and added a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese and had a buffalo chicken flatbread pizza. So you can throw that in the oven, cook that together, crisps up really nice, and it's another option. So there are several different options. You could also cut this recipe in half. If you're only eating this for yourself, I would suggest just doing this recipe in half. And that way it gives you the, the right amount. I have not frozen the recipe before, so if you give that a try, just leave a comment below. But I'm not sure how the cream cheese would be if you froze it. So this is the recipe. Um, thank you for your patience and waiting for me to film this one. I know it took a little while, but it's not something that I make every single week. But it is something that I probably make every month or two um, as I get the craving or I need to change up my, um, again, my afternoon snack at work. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, please like and subscribe below and share this with your friends if it's something that you think they'll like and take it to a party. There are tons of celebrations coming up this summer. Um, this travels very well. I'm going to let this cool off. And then I'm going to prepackage it in the one third cup servings and then I'm going to throw it in the fridge so that it's ready to go. I don't like to put anything in the fridge that's still warm. Um, not sure about the food safety, but it's just a personal preference. I'll wait till it cools off and then I'll package it up and put it away. So again, um, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.